When using MLA format for a paper or project, you'll be required to cite the original sources of any outside information you include. This is to provide proper credit to the original authors and to avoid plagiarism. In this video, we'll discuss how to write citations for a couple of the most common types of books and ebooks. Citing books requires you to locate the publication information within the physical media. To cite a book by a single author, you'll need the author's name, the title of the book, the name of the publishing company, and the date of publication. If you're citing an entry in an anthology, you'll also need the title of the anthology, the editor or editors of the anthology, the page range of the work that you're citing, and the edition number if one is specified. The format for citing a book with one author looks like this. Begin with the author's name in a last name first format, followed by a period, then give the title of the book in italics, followed by another period. Finally, give the name of the publisher and the date of publication, separated by a comma, and end the whole thing with a period. Here's an example of how you can find that information in a print book. On the title page, which is usually at the very beginning of the book just before the table of contents, you can find the author's name, the title, and the publisher. Here we have Middlemarch by George Eliot, published by Penguin Books. On the back of the title page, you'll find the publication date. It's important to note that you should cite the date that the particular edition you're using was published and not the original publication date of the text. So look for the most recent date, which here is 1985. If you don't see it on the front of the title page, the name of the publishing company is usually given on the back as well. Now that we have all the necessary information, we're able to put together the full citation using the correct format from earlier, which looks like this. To cite a work in an anthology, follow this format. Begin with the author's name, last name first, followed by a period. Then give the title of the particular essay, poem, short story, or article that you want to cite. Follow that with another period, then give the name of the anthology in italics, the editor's name, the edition number if given, the publisher, the date, and the page range of the work, all separated by commas. A period goes at the end. You can start finding this information on the title page of the anthology. Here you can see the anthology's title, the names of the editors, and the publishing company. So here we have Frankenstein, How a Monster Became an Icon, The Science and Enduring Allure of Mary Shelley's Creation. The editors are Sidney Perkowitz and Eddie Von Mueller, and the publisher is Pegasus Books. The back of the title page will give you the publication date, and if there's an edition number, you'll find it here as well. This anthology was published in 2018, and no edition number is given. Next, you need the title of the particular work you want to cite, as well as the author's name and the page range where the work appears. Turn to the work in question to find the title and the author's name, and make a note of the first and last pages. Here we have Hideous Progeny, Telling a Tale of Monsters in Frankenstein by Catherine Ross Nickerson, and it starts on page 5 and ends on page 15. So with all this information, we're able to put together the full citation, which looks like this. Finally, let's take a look at ebooks and databases. These are cited similarly to print books, but also include the name of the database and the URL. For a full citation, begin with the author's name, followed by a period. Then give the title of the book, also followed by a period. Follow with the publisher and date of publication, separated by a comma, and followed by a period. This is just like citing a print book. However, you then need to follow it with the name of the database where the ebook is located in italics, followed by a comma, then the URL of the ebook. When you look up an ebook in the Columbus State Library catalog, you'll see a page that looks like this. This gives you most of the publication information for the ebook near the top of the page. Here we can see that the author's name is Mark Sloban, the book's title is Motor City Music, A Detroiter Looks Back. The publishing company is Oxford University Press, and the date of publication is 2019. Now all we need is the database name and URL. To find this, click on one of the links in the middle of the page that say Connect to Resource. This will bring you to the database page itself. Every database has a slightly different interface, but they will all contain the needed information somewhere on the page. In this case, the book is located in the database Scholarly and Reference eBooks. Click on the link near the top that reads Persistent Link, and a pop-up window will give you the URL you can use to access the ebook directly. With all this information, we're able to use the format shown earlier to put together the full citations for an ebook found in a database.